There's this super small indie game I like called Minecraft, and today I wanted to play Minecraft with some pocket monsters. So without further ado, please make sure to like, subscribe, and Pika Pika! If you want to put Pokemon in Minecraft, there's pretty much two options, and that's Pixelmon and Cobblemon. And I chose Cobblemon because it's the newer and, in my opinion, better version. So, we got that, and we also get to choose our own starter, and I'm not picking anything but Mudkip. Why would I not pick Mudkip? It's the cutest thing in the universe. That's awesome! What is this little thing? So you may have noticed right away, but I always pick my Pokemon based on how cute they are, instead of how functional they are. So, yeah. Okay, let's fight. Rock throw. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was serious. No, Mudkip is a savage. I just killed the Pokemon. That's so messed up. I was tired of slaughtering rookies, so I went up and found this apricot tree, which if you don't know, can be used to make Pokeballs once I get some iron and copper. I also found this goofy ah big ah bird, but apparently it's a gentle giant, so we're chill. Dude, look at this thing. I wanted to make some Pokeballs, so after getting some more apricots, I picked up some iron and copper. And here we are making our first set of Pokeballs, and I'm really happy this mod gives a use for copper, because copper is so stupid in vanilla Minecraft. And pretty much right away, I picked up the worst Pokemon in the entire game. This thing sucks. I would have rather had a Caterpie than this. This little critter decided to not evolve the entire time, and I'm telling you this right now because I want you to point and laugh at this stupid little Pichu. And this stupid little mouse had the audacity to not get inside my ball. Oh, pods. But still, it took three tries to get him in my balls. What the hell, man? Let's go! W Pichu! W Mudkip! Look at you! Now here's a cool little critter. Rookity was actually a good addition to my team. And you may be thinking, Gens, are you gonna build a house at all? Oh boy am I. So I went ahead and got some sand, I got some poppies, I got some bones, I got some gravel, and I built the coolest house you've ever seen. I'm super proud of this house even though I had to kill some poor squids for that black ink. <laughs> But yeah, this house is probably my best so far. I'm not great at building at all, so I thought this was definitely a, a good build. And if you wanted to see the inside, here you go. Oh, they grow up so fast, don't they? Already level 11. Yeah, but leveling aside, I ended up mining some more, finding a mine shaft, which is pretty cool, and getting a full suit of iron armor. Emolga over here used to be one of my favorite Pokemon back in the day, but uh, not so much anymore. I was still yearning for the mines though, so I went back in and found some diamonds. Oh shit, oh diamond! Let's go! Diamond! It's only one, but who cares? While I was in the caves breathing in that nice fresh coal dust, I found this stupid little Pokemon which gave me something I needed a lot in the future. The lush caves biome happened to be right next to that little dude, and this was a major blessing because this biome housed my next Pokemon, and a very important item I needed later on. And here he is, my next Pokemon, or she actually, Roggenrola, and this sucks because I can't get Gigalith. I am not playing with anyone and you need to trade him to get Gigalith, and I didn't realize that until way later on, so nah. Oh baby, here we go, the first evolution, my stupid Pichu made it happen, but it's good because I get a Marsh Chomp now. How do I evolve him? He's evolved! Look at him! What's up, Brody? To catch some higher level Pokemon, I needed to upgrade my balls, so I got some apricots, some gold, and here you go. Now you remember that little stupid dude in the cave I murdered earlier? Well he gave me an item that allowed me to get the EXP share, which is one of the most important things in the game if you want to level your Pokemon, not one at a time. And because Roggenrola was my lowest level Pokemon, I gave my first EXP share to her. So now he has an EXP share. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. There's no way. Look at the 
this little cutie! I then took a few minutes to craft a few more. Talonflame is one of my favorite fire types in any of the Pokemon games, so I went and caught a Fletchling. For the first time in any of these Minecraft playthroughs I've done, I needed to go to the Nether, so I crafted a diamond pickaxe to get some obsidian. Hell yeah, we love how needlessly long it takes to mine obsidian. I already had stage 4 lung cancer from being in the mine so long, so it didn't matter to me to be in there any longer. I didn't want this filthy portal to be anywhere near my house, so I made a little platform into the water for it. I'm not even going to toot my own horn here, I haven't built a nether portal in like 5 years, I'm surprised I still knew how to do it. And here we are with my flint and steel and right into the nether we go. Get out of here you stupid ghast, I just need your tears. It took me 30 minutes of walking around just running past these things to figure out this is exactly the herb I needed. And after getting some honey and lighting my herbs on fire, and smashing them together, I got a revive. Now you may have been wondering, Gens, do you need this revive for anything special at all? Well, let me tell you, I can make a healing station with this, and with that, I can actually fight these Pokemon instead of sleeping through the night. Fighting for might be like two minutes and then sleeping through the night again. It's it's been so annoying now We're gonna be going over this fight punch by punch nipple twister by nipple twister So here we go ferret throws some fury swipes at us straight off the bat We hit him with a surf he has already hit us for like half our health with those stupid fury swipes So we go ahead and switch to our flesh ender This ferret wants us to follow him, but he fails because he's an idiot or it's actually she Anyways, he uses Fury Swipes on us again. Who would have thunk it? So we flare charge right into this stupid face. And our speed rose does it. Now I growled at him because he's an idiot and he made us fucking hurt with that scratch. Oh, and acrobatics. Oh baby, some more Fury Swipes. Who would have thunk it? And it's hurt by its burns again. Those burns are coming in clutch. So we're switching right over to that Pichu. Look at this stupid idiot. Looks like a fucking stuffed animal. And Fury swipes again. Critical hit straight down the pipe. No one likes you, Pichu. Back out. The Marsh Stomp is going to finish this up. Is it or not? I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and throw that Surf right back out there, but he scratches us first. Now this Furt is already super low, and these burns hurt him some more, so we have to finish this off with a quick Water Pulse. Where's our Water Gun? I was wrong. Anyways, it's fucking dead. I was able to fight a whole lot more now, so I evolved my Pokemon a lot faster. Haha, <laughs> stupid C dot up the tree. Ooh, Rookity's gonna evolve. Perfect. Up in the mountains, I fought and killed everything I saw, including this goat, this rabbit, and this dumb puppy. After hitting one bird with one stone, I was allowed to make my stone bigger. Oh, Rock and Roll is gonna evolve. Finally. Let's go. Bulldore. Oh look, it's a perfect time for a break with the foreshadowing Pidove. Haha, <laughs> you thought you'd actually get a break with that Pidove. No sir, here's a golem. This golem, it ruined my day. It ruined my day a lot. I hate this golem so much. This golem, please, uh, I hate this golem. I, wanna, I have to status effect the crap out of this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? To stop the steam coming out of my ears, I took out my anger on this Bidoof. I found this cool ancient tower looking really climbable, so I climbed all over it. Look at this little weirdo, who do we think he- he's sitting in this tre- this my treasure. He's sitting inside my treasure. Gimme ghoul, gimme gone, get out of here man.
further up the tower, I found a Dublade, which is actually a really, really good Pokemon. But I only go after cute and cool looking Pokemon, and this guy is just some swords. He did give me a bunch of experience though, so good on him I guess. I reached the summit of the tower and found a chest with a bunch of goodies, including a thunderstone, which I thought I would use, but I didn't end up using it at all, sadly. Everyone knows, or at least I think everyone knows, that Miltake is a really strong Pokemon. If you don't one-shot this thing, it will heal up immediately and then keep healing up the entire fight and you cannot kill it. So I was actually super surprised how easy it was to fight him. You just have to kill him before he can heal. Simple. Ooh, Fletchinger's gonna evolve, okay. Finally. Take a look at him. Look at him. Can you ride him? I was actually already on my shiny hunt by now because I was pretty much leveled up as much as I felt like I wanted to be. But I found this cool stone guy. Or weird. I don't know if he's kind of cool. But anyways, here's me speeding up the fight because it took way too long. I love hearing what things sound like when they're sped up. It sounds like there's a teddy bear being squeaked in the background. And here we are on the final stretch. Stone Juror about to get smushed at 69% health. Haha, <laughs> funny number. This digger's bee looked at me funny, so I shoved my boulder right up his stupid floppy dirty ears. Yeah, that was, uh, that's so close to the word. So close to the word. But anyways, Marshtop, look at Marshtop. He's gonna level up. I'm gonna get a Swamper to Obaby. Look at my Swamper. Look at this guy. Can I ride you? I can't ride you. Why can't I ride you? I was so happy to find a Mareep. Mareep is one of my favorite electric types in the game and Enferos is so cool. So I was so, so happy to finally be able to catch one and get Pichu out of my party. Look Batman, I caught this Lil Punny. There's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. Lil Punny aside, oh wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? I couldn't even tell at first because it's, it's so stupid looking. It, it looks almost exactly like the regular Pidov. Oh, oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I didn't even know it was a shiny. Hold on. Wait, what? Look, aren't I great? I even allowed my Pichu to lay its filthy, filthy stuffed animal's stupid tiny paws on this beautiful shiny pedo. Aren't I a saint? Aren't I? Aren't I? I mean, I, I, I gave it I gave it its chance to shine, to really shine for the only time it'll ever get in its life. This dumb Pichu, this is the only time it's ever going to feel anything besides anger, regret, and sadness. That, that was a shiny put up. Uh, okay. Now that I had my shiny, the last thing I wanted to do was get all of my Pokemon fully evolved. So I started with getting a Corviknight. Alright, now Corvusquire is going to evolve. There's no way I can't ride him. Oh, I had almost forgotten to get the Pichu out of my party. No hard feelings. I, I loved you, Pichu, just like the rest of my Pokemon. Oh my god, it's Nessie. She's beautiful. Oh baby, the final of my 12 labors. Oh, in fact, I'm gonna call this my 13th labor. I'm getting an Ampharos. So. <laughs> Which is my favorite electric type. Look at this guy, so cool. 
Now that we're coming up on the end of the video, we could definitely, definitely do a ton more in this mod. If you guys want me to play more of this, like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video and if you guys want me to play more. I know I could get like a whole team of legendaries for a video if you guys want that. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later.